three minutes. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hey, it's not fair. That's not fair at all. I don't believe this. came from, Junior. I'll teach you some trick-or-treat manners. Ouch. You wanna play rough, do ya? We can do rough. So good. 
Good to see you again, TK. Aren't you going to cover up your face? What's the point? When we're done, it'll be as though none of this has ever happened. <laughs> so, yeah, you're really going to do it this time. Not just time manipulation, but actual time travel. But have you given any thought to the hazards? What about a, a, a spatial displacement or, or historical paradox? Those are just theories. Yeah, but they're your theories. Remember, when I activate the stopwatch, we only have 60 seconds to bypass the alarm. Don't anybody move. Thomas, you told me there'd be no guards. Quiet! It wasn't supposed to be. Put your hands up! Damn. 60 seconds, go, go, go! Hi, honey. Did you miss me? Those chronotech idiots never even figured out how to turn it on. That's because they forgot to steal. The remote. <laughs> March the 25th, 1999. Years. Why not just go back to when he was a baby? And do what? Sneak into the nursery and put a pillow over his face? I'm not a monster, Tom. It's Roach Man I want dead. And it's Roach Man I'm going to kill. And besides, whatever year I pick, I'm stuck there. And I'm not going to relive the 80s. So why 1999? In March of 1999, Dalton is still finding his feet as a superhero. His real identity is not known to the general public. So he has a false sense of security. And best of all, he has never even heard of the timekeeper. Which is all about the change. Oh, yes. I'll introduce myself to him as he lies dying at my feet. Hello, Roachman. I am the greatest enemy you'll never have. Well, I don't remember any of this. Not if I'm successful. Goodbye, Thomas. Good luck. Hold on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, who is this? Dalton? Dalton? No way it was Antenna. Yeah, man, my brother knows this guy who saw him. He was about this far away from me. This guy had two antennas sticking out of his head, like this. Roach Man's just a name. I'm serious, ask my brother's friend. You're stupid. Hey, shut up. You shut up. No, wait, shut up. Shut up. Hey, man, I told you to shut up first. And it's 11.56 here in the studio, 55 degrees in Dallas, with an expected high of only 60 today. 
And if you uh, thought you saw Dallas's own superhero last night, you weren't alone. There were six reported sightings of Roach Man last night. That's right. Uh, the Metroplex's favorite Roach apparently was busy as a bee, taking care of evil in our area. He's up there, big guy. I'm gonna, gonna need these ribs, buddy. Uh, <sighs> thanks for coming on such short notice. Were you able to get everything I asked for? Yeah, it's all in the car. Two-way comm links, uh, monitors, tracking devices, scanners, miniature video camera. And you mind me asking what you need all this surveillance equipment for? You got a cute next-door neighbor? I'll take you back at my place. Oh, come on. I mean, we've been out of the core five years. You're now a grad student in college studying to become a bug scientist. What do they call them? Endocrinologist? Entomologist. Yeah, well, point is, you're living a whole new lifestyle now. What do you need high-frequency scanners and tracking devices for? We going to war with the Lambda Zetas? I'm afraid it's a little more serious than that, Mark. So you, uh, live on campus here? No, I just gotta stop by and see somebody. This'll just take a minute. Hey, it's me. A convenience store robbery, an assault, and hey, an Kelly, attempt. Hey, Kelly, your man's These on TV again. These all had one thing in common oh, last I wish night. he was a man. Brought to a halt by the costume individual who calls himself Roach Man. Witnesses at all three crime scenes. Come on Roach in, Dalton. Muscular Caucasian male. Hey, Kelly. In black. Hey, Sharon. Listen, I'd like you guys to meet Mark. Mark. Mark's a buddy of mine from the war. We served together in the Gulf. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. What's going on? Roachman made the news again. Roachman. There's this thing about Roachman. I've been in town a day, and everyone's talking about this guy. He's a real-life superhero. Part man, part insect. Is this for real? I don't know. The whole thing sounds kind of weird to me. It's beyond weird. And this kind of stuff is okay in comic books, but in real life... I mean, what kind of freak wears a black spandex bodysuit and fights criminals unarmed? That guy's begging to be a chalk drawer. And the name, Roachman? Is that supposed to be menacing or something? And what kind of powers does this guy have? He could squeeze into tight, damp places. There he was. He was huge. He was as close to me as I am to you. Do you think it's right for him doing what he's doing, dispensing a form of got to show him? If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now. Roach man, whoever you are behind that rubber mask, I want to thank you. This amateur video footage was taken at the Lakewood Shopping yes! Center last night and provides us a rare glimpse. Oh my god, I can see his butt! You cannot see his Roach butt. Yes, I can, look right there. Three years ago. You're pathetic. Where? Situation at Ruby's Cafe in West Just Bay. looks like a black blur to me. Oh my god, this is so incredibly hot. Oh, the whole unknown masked hero thing. You're getting yourself worked up over nothing. He's probably gay. What? Uh-uh! My rich man is not gay. Makes sense. How many straight guys you know run around in black rubber suits? And you know gay guys that would? I'm just saying. What difference does it make? The suit's not even rubber anyway. How do you know? Well, I mean, it, it seems that he would probably want to use something more practical, right? Something like polyester or lycra, something he can move and fight in. Yeah, well, I guess I've seen too many cheesy superhero movies. Anyway, that's beside the point. Rubber or not? Black tights are black tights. And if there isn't a bicycle or a ballet involved, well, that pretty much screams out, gay. You think what you want. My roach man is not gay. He cannot be gay. Dalton, tell her. Oh, no, you're not dragging me into this. Well, we've never seen him with a woman. Yeah, well, we've never seen him with food either. Maybe he doesn't eat. Are you comparing women to food? No, I'm not comparing women to food. What I'm saying is, I bet if you really knew Roachman, you'd find that there's someone that he cares for very deeply. 
someone who's beautiful, brilliant, someone very special, and someone very, very female. No, Dalton, no! We want him to be straight and available! All right, I think I'm gonna go on outside. The estrogen's getting just a little bit too thick for me, but it was really nice meeting you. I'll be right there. Hey, Sharon, did you still want to get together and talk about your thesis? Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd really like your opinion on it. I could pick you up tomorrow night. We could, uh, get something to eat. If, I mean, you don't have any plans already. No, tomorrow night's great. There's a good Mexican place down the street. It's pretty quiet. Sounds good. Uh, be here all day? I'll be here. Great. Hey, I really appreciate this. You're a true friend. That's me. You got the hots for her. Talking about Sharon, you got it so bad you can hardly stand it. I don't really think that's any of your business. <laughs> Touchy. Oh, come on, we haven't seen each other in forever. Catch me up a little bit. So have you two, uh, you know? Hey, look, number one, you don't just, you know a girl like that. And number two, if I were to be intimately involved with her, the last thing I would do is tell you about it. Oh, you got it bad. So, you and Dalton are gonna go out for dinner tomorrow night, huh? Come on, we're just having dinner. We're not having dinner. Look, Dalton's great. He's one of my best friends, but he's a bug guy. Yeah, and you are a bug girl. You two could, uh, build a nest, have a couple of maggots. Ew! Oh, come on, don't you ever think about settling down? Harry, we're still in college, and besides, Dalton? I see what you mean. Smart, tall, good-looking, built like a brick house. Who'd want that? That's not what I mean. I love entomology, Kelly, but... When it comes to dating, I just can't see myself dating another entomologist. I mean, collecting damselfly larvae is my idea of an exciting evening, you know? I want somebody who'd give me a little danger and excitement in my life. I'm thirsty. Want a Coke? No, thanks. And besides, Dalton and me, we just don't see each other that way. Oh, so are you speaking for Dalton now? Yes, I'm speaking for Dalton now. Don't you think if he was interested in me, he would have said something long ago? Well, not necessarily. You two have that, um, what do you call it? That unspoken passion. I don't do unspoken passion. I think a man should say what he feels. Tell me if you recognize either of those men. Is this who I think it is? Mateo Salvador, the Reaper. He's a master of several martial arts. Aikido, Kempo, Karate, Thai boxing, kickboxing, you name it. Over 37 tournaments he's fought in and never been defeated. Yeah, I know this story. Two years ago, uh, after one of his tournaments, he claims to have seen a vision of death in the flesh. A woman dressed in black robes commanding his complete obedience. So he goes on a killing spree, breaking into women's homes, murdering them. Four dozen uniformed officers and a SWAT team to bring him in. And bachelor number two? Never seen him before. Doesn't surprise me. His crimes aren't the type that draw media attention. His name's Daniel Watlington, also known as the Comedian. The Comedian? Yeah, that's what he used to be before he turned to a life of crime. He used to travel the comedy circuit with an act that combined comedy with hypnotism. It wasn't very funny from what I hear. But he had an incredible ability to control people's minds. About two years ago, they locked him away for tax evasion and money laundering. So our job is what? We're going to find these two guys dates for the next prison dance? Two days ago, both the comedian and the reaper were being transferred to a new maximum security facility when their prison bus was ambushed. All the guards were killed, and both the comedian and the reaper escaped. But it's my belief that this escape was engineered by a third party, Noriko Wen, who calls herself Demonica. She and the comedian used to be partners in both love and crime until they broke up. Since then, they've been bitter rivals. Why would she break him out now? I don't know. That's one of the things that's been bugging me the most about this. There's something going on that I just don't understand. We'll start tomorrow, when I get out of school. 
Until then, I need you to monitor all the police frequencies. Keep your ears open for anything. Any reports of missing persons, especially women. Just to make sure we're on the same page here, you want to track down and capture two of the most dangerous men on Earth? Yep. Okay. Anything else I need to know? Actually, there is. See, there's something that I've been meaning to tell you. And I've been kind of tossing it around in my head exactly how I was going to explain this. So I think the best thing for me to do is just to show you. I'll be right back. Keep your pants on. I haven't had that much to drink. That's your secret? You're doing strippograms? No, I'm not doing strippograms. I'm Roachman. You. You're the freak on TV. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's just that we don't even look like a roach. You look like you look like a big leech. Would you try being serious for a minute? Oh, me? You're telling me, Roach Man is telling me to be serious. Wait, wait a minute. No, where is it? Where, where is it? I gotta see it. Where is it? What are you looking for? The Roach Cave. There's gotta be a Roach Cave or at least a, a Roach Motel. Where is it? You got a secret door around here or something? There's not a Roach Cave. That kind of stuff costs money, Mark. I'm a college student. Don, you know you're seriously messed up, right? You know that, right? I mean, have you talked to anybody, like a doctor or a psychiatrist? I'm not crazy, Mark. Well, surely you don't think this is normal. Normal? What's normal, Mark? The Marine Corps, was that normal? How about the Gulf War? Giving up our civilian lives, our individuality, to become part of something we don't even understand? My life's not that much different now, Mark. I'm still fighting a war. I'm still saving lives, and I'm still a force for good. What you are is a jarhead who read too many comic books in the desert. The real heroes wear pants! Maybe you're right. But this is what I am, Mark. This is what I've become. You know, I used to lie awake nights in the desert trying to figure out why we were there. Trying to understand what it was I was prepared to give up my life for. As Roachman, I don't have to ask myself those questions. I've looked into the eyes of people who wouldn't be alive if it weren't for me. And that's where I see the answers. I'm making a difference, Mark. Roachman is making a difference. What I need to know now is will you help me? I can't believe I'm even thinking about this. If it was anybody else... All right. Fine. Somebody's got to watch your back. But I'm not wearing tights. appointment for that kind of abuse, or do you take walk-ins? Cut the crap, comedian. Oh, come now. Is that why you sent your men to bust me out of prison, just so you could tell me to cut the crap? Breaking you out of jail wasn't my idea. If it was up to me, you'd still be lying on some stained cot, counting cracks on a cold cell wall. The Monica! Do you hate all men, or is it just me? All men, and especially, especially me. you. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so it wasn't your idea to break me out of prison. To whom then do I owe my gratitude? That would be me. My name is Joseph Stock, but you may call me the Timekeeper. And you're Daniel Wattlington, one of Dallas's two most powerful crime bosses. Demonica, of course, being the other. Hmm. I've been told if you want to get anything done in this city that you two are the people to talk to. That's what this is about? You broke me out for a favor? More of a proposition, really. Something I think you'll be very interested in. It has to do with a certain spandex-clad thorn in each of our sides. Roach man? I see I have your attention now. That's right. And wasn't it Roach Man that dumped you in that maximum security dungeon? Surely you'd like the opportunity to reciprocate his kindness? Interesting proposition. But just one problem. Demonica, I've met. You, I don't know from Kevin Bacon. Hunting Roachman is a dangerous game for the uninitiated. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Roachman and I go way back. Or should I say forward? It's, um, it's all relative when you have complete control of time. How would you do that? A stopwatch, in the literal sense. It stops time for precisely 60 seconds. I simply froze you both in time and walked over here behind you. An elaborate parlor trick, really. But I'm sure you can see the possibilities. I wasn't sure you'd still be here. To be honest, neither was I. What's this, undercover work? No, I'm going jogging. Oh, how far? Around the lake. About nine and a half miles. Well, good, here, take this. I need to test the range on it. Tracking device? Yeah, it's magnetized. Just get out a couple of miles, you go ahead and hit that button once, and that activates it. Okay. Hey, hey, don't lose that. Those things are expensive. I won't. Shidoshi to Monica, you, you've got to get out of here. We tried to fight him off, but he, he fights like 10 men. Why do you run? I bear a gift for you. The gift of death. <laughs> Accept it now. Feel the sweet embrace of oblivion. Good God. Isn't he great? He's a friend of mine from prison. I told him to wait in the car, but he gets bored. Get him! Hey, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I <laughs> to serve my mistress, the mistress death. And you serve her well, but now we must rest, rest. Incredible. Does your friend have a name? Maybe you've heard of him, Matteo Salvatore. The Reaper? You serious? You brought the Reaper here to my gym? Uh, who's the Reaper? Only the most accomplished serial killer of all time. Get this, 235, 36, sorry, victims. And those are just the verified kills. 
Look, I know this little meeting was by invitation only, but well, you can imagine how hard it is telling him no. Well, why don't you just try telling him to go crawl back under what rock he came from, Demonica, and you can Demonica. just... Demonica, Excuse us. Don't forget our purpose here. This guy's a killing machine. He may be useful to us. Useful? He killed one of my men. But you have more. <laughs> Remember, roach man, beaten, humiliated, crushed, like the bug that he is. <laughs> Once that's done, all deals are off. Is he asleep? I've placed him in a deep hypnotic trance. We can continue our discussion if you like. Fine. But not here. Demonica? We can speak privately in the back. Here, the car? No, I didn't know it was in here. Do you think I'd take the car if I knew it was in here? <laughs> God. Well, what are we gonna do with him now? <laughs> I don't know. We, we gotta drop him off. So
today, Sharon. Just a few more days until we meet again for the first time. And this time, there'll be no dult to come between us. Norm, Sharon Parker, announcing engagement. Wedding date is June 3rd, 2004. 2004? Five year engagement? Sharon Parker again. McGee Dormitory. College campus? Shave, Anna. Oh, never mind. Tough crowd. Reminds me of that time I did that Jesus and Joseph joke in Utah. Did I ever tell you that one? Well, Jesus is a teenager, right? And he comes in, leaves the door wide open. Joseph turns and says, What, were you born in a barn? <coughs> they didn't like that one in Utah either. You told me. I came with you. There will be blood. Oh. 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 There's going to be blood. Change of plans. We're going after some carjackers. But we don't have much time. They're probably stripping the car as we speak. Slow down. What happened to your arm? I got shot. You got shot? Jogging? Yeah. And I need you to help me get the bullet out. You know, these aren't people we're dealing with, Mark. They're animals. I had a baby in my arms. And that guy fired at me anyway. Baby? Dalton, what baby? You got blood all over you. There was a baby in the car when they stole it. 
Look, I'll explain everything on the way. There's not enough time. No, 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 Dalton, you need a real doctor. This is serious stuff. Mark, look at my arm. I mean, really, look at my arm. Where's the entry wound? All I see is blood. There's not an entry wound. It healed. Mark, I took a bullet in this arm about 25 minutes ago, and it's healed already. How do you think I'm going to explain that to a doctor? You could start by explaining it to me. There's not enough time. I need you to take the scalpel here and go about two inches in. You'll find a bullet here. I need you to cut this way with the I can't do this. Fine. What are you doing? If you're not going to take the bullet out, I am. Are you out of your mind? Oh, I've done this before, but it does get a little messy. No, okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll take it out. After you tell me how your arm healed. Mark. Oh, start talking, or else you're going to be cutting with a piece of scrap metal. Damn it, I'm your friend. I deserve to know what's going on. You're right. You're right. Sit down and I'll tell you what I know. Truth is, I don't exactly remember everything. They, after they made me this way, they erased my memory. Made you? What do you mean? Who made you like this? Wait. They slipped up, Mark. They underestimated my healing ability. Just as my shoulder's been healing, so have my memories. They've been regenerating a little by little, and I'm getting everything back bit by bit. Who did this to you? It was right before we went to the Gulf. I remember my force recon commander, he called me into his office. It was a meeting with some men. They wanted to talk to me about an experimental project. They looked at me, they said, how would you like to be the first of a new breed of Marine? A Marine who could take shrapnel bullets and heal almost instantly. A Marine who would be immune to biological attacks. A Marine, a, a man might very well live forever. How did they do it? Chromosomal editing was what they called it. They altered my DNA. That's impossible. Genetically altering a full-grown organism? I know it's impossible, but they did it. The whole idea was to take the right specimen, a marine, and splice in a few improvements. Oh, okay, okay. The improvements had to come from somewhere. What did they splice in? You know, at the time, it seemed like the perfect idea. I mean, I mean, think about it. What's the one living creature that they said that could survive anything, even a nuclear war? Roach DNA? You've got the DNA of a cockroach? About 0.007%. Oh, well, that's fine. Think about it, Mark. The speed, the immunity to poisons, the survivability factor. A roach was the perfect choice. They fused roach DNA into my own and made me a roach man. Look, I know how this all must sound. Now you've got no idea. Look, I know this all sounds crazy, but I need you to trust me right now. I need you to trust... I need you to trust me the way I am trusting you. If you'll take that scalpel and cut about two inches into my arm, you're gonna find a bullet, a very real bullet that wasn't there about 30 minutes ago. Then you'll know I'm telling you the truth. Excuse me. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I'm looking for my niece, Sharon Parker. This is the right dorm, isn't it? Yeah, Sharon lives here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what, though? She went shopping with Kelly, and then they're going to go to Kelly's house after. Kelly, um... Oh, she just lives about two blocks down that way, and then you make a right on shore crest, and it's 816, the duplex. 816? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, sure. You've been very helpful. No problem. Unexplainable desire to rent the fly over and over again? None that I've noticed. After you get the blood out of the way, you should see a faint scar. That's where you'll make the incision. 
Yes. What's that for? It helps with the pain. Pain? Well, yeah, I heal fast, but it still hurts. Deeper, you're not giving me a tattoo. Hold on, that's it. Someone broke into my locker and stole my coat. The Reaper's gone. No one's seen him. Oh, great. We've lost a 250-pound psychopath. Hi, that's not all. No one's seen the comedian either. <sighs> Sharon. Okay, so explain this to me. You're not actually having dinner with Dalton tonight, yet you found it necessary to buy a new outfit. Well, there's an excuse to go shopping, plain and simple. Uh -huh. Look, did it ever occur to you that maybe I'd want to look good for me and not for some man? Mm hmm. No, not once. Unlocked or something, it kind of spooked me. You know? oh. All right. Oh. <sighs> 
I want you to listen to me very carefully. I've placed you into what I like to call a state of truth. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask a few questions, and uh, you have to answer all of the questions completely and truthfully. You understand? Yes. Good. Now, first question. Oh, it's the only question. Where can I find Roachman? Roachman? How should I know? Well, you're going to marry the loser. Unless he's kept it a secret from you, too. <laughs> well, Dalton Moore, he's Roachman. Where do I find him? Dalton? Roachman? He can't be. No, he can, and uh, he is. N no, no. Look, I'm not going to debate the issue with you. You must answer the question, where is Dalton Moore? Home, I guess. He's probably home. The address. Two, four... Hold that thought. I've been going about this completely wrong. Please, not do that to me. Come on, we have to hurry. I better pick up Sharon by eight tonight. Hey, I'm ready. To the Roachmobile! Are you coming or what? Oh. To the garage? Sharon, Sharon, what's wrong? Hello, Roachman. It is you, isn't it? Well, tell me it is. Who is this? Ouch! You've forgotten already. And after all the lovely memories we've shared. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I must admit, looking you up in the white pages is a little unorthodox, but now that I know who you are, I figure it's time we had a long overdue reunion. And that's, of course, if you want to see your fiancé alive again. Fiancé? Look, whatever you think the relationship is between us, you're wrong. We barely know each other. Really? Well, then you won't mind if we kill her now. No, 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 don't do that. All right. What do you want me to do? Well, let's see. Two deranged killers have kidnapped two lovely young women. <laughs> You're the superhero, you figure it out. The Reaper and I are over here at, uh, what's your name again? Kelly. Kelly's house. See you soon. We've got Sharon and Kelly. Then let's go get them. Now what? Well, we only need one hostage. can't be responsible for these guys, Dalton. They're maniacs. They wouldn't have come here if it wasn't for me. But if I have done anything with Sharon. Oh, fine. If I have to search this entire city. That won't be necessary. They left us a map. You recognize this place? Yeah. It's the martial arts studio where the Reaper used to train. Things are gonna get ugly in there. This is your last chance to back out. Yours too. All right. 
You take the back, I'll take the front. Wait. If you run into the comedian, hit him hard and fast. He's more than just a hypnotist. He'll jump into your brain if you let him, so don't let him. Got it. And if you run into the Reaper, I'll call for you. Do things your way, Dalton. I'll do the mine. Sharon, are you okay? <laughs> Maybe I didn't know time. No, don't worry. It'll, it'll just be a second. Hold on. Stop right there. Where the hell did you come from? I've been right here. I simply chose not to be seen. Comedian. You know me? I know who you are and what you can do. Then you know you'd better shoot me now, if you want to get out of here alive. Can you do it? Can you shoot me in cold blood? He who hesitates. Ah! Oh. Oh. You don't have to do this. Look, Shh. look, I'll, I'll Shh. put the gun down. Now, 
You must tell me the truth. Who are you? I'm a, I'm a friend of Roachman's. A sidekick? Really? Two years I spent waiting for him, and he sends me a baby-faced sidekick? What do they call you, larva boy? His name is Mark. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Kelly, we need to call an ambulance. She's hurt. No, no, Sharon, it, it's too late for that. Sharon. Sharon, listen to me. What are you doing? Stop it. You don't understand. They hurt her. She's bleeding. She's dead. No. Yes, yes, Let me call. We just came from her house. I need we to call saw her. her. Dalton and me. If there was anything we could have done, we would have done it, no. but it's too late. No. Yes, yes, Sharon. No. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. But what you gotta do right now is you have to get out of here. I have to go help Dalton. Dalton's here? What is going on? He's Why is all this happening? Thing. Sharon, I don't know. You have to get out of here. I have to go help Dalton. The only way you can help us both is by getting out of here. <laughs> Not so tough anymore, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Is he? I guess we're done here. to me. But why us? Why me? I don't know. Keep 
Keep her safe for now, Dalton. Your time will come. Say, come in, Dalton. <laughs> what? Come on in, Dalton. Hello, Kellen. Hi, Sharon. Hey, I'd like you guys to meet Mark. <laughs> Sorry. Come on in, Dalton. Hi, Kellen. Hey, Sharon. Hey, I'd like you guys to meet uh, Mark. Mark's a man. I love you, Mark. <laughs> The most uh, accomplished serial killer. Okay, action. Do you hate all men, though, or is it just me? All men, and especially you. You, me. <laughs> okay. And yet, and yet I forgot my line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Name's Joseph Stark, but Joseph's is only the timekeeper. <laughs> What's normal? The Marine Corps was that normal? How about the Gulf War? Without remembering how lying to that the normal thing. The only way you can help us both is by getting out of here. <laughs> Come on, Dalton. What do you don't? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> what do you don't? <laughs> you gotta get out of here. I have to go help Dalton. Come on. Come on. No. No, you just I squeezed my nipples so hard. <laughs> In March of 1999, Dalton is still finding his... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sitting there making faces at me. So why 1999? <laughs> so why 1999? In March of... <laughs> well, I don't remember any of this. Not if I'm successful, Thomas. Goodbye. <laughs> now, that's entertainment. <laughs> Who's the Reaper? Only the most accomplished serial killer of all time. Get this, 235 victims. And those are just the verified kills. I'm Roachman. Roachman? And what kind of powers does this guy have? He could squeeze into tight, damp places. Roachman, beaten. <laughs> Humiliated. <laughs> Crushed like the bug that he is. 
You've got the DNA of a cockroach? About 0.007%. Oh, that's fine. No! Just buy me a little time. Yeah, sure. No problem. You play cards? <laughs> well, the suspense is killing me. Tell me if you recognize either of those men. Is this who I think it is? Teo Salvador, the Reaper. He's a master of several martial arts. Aikido, Kempo, Karate, kickboxing, you name it. Over 37 tournaments he's fought in and never been defeated. And bachelor number two? Never seen him before. His name's Daniel Watling, also known as the Comedian. He used to travel the comedy circuit with an act to combine comedy with hypnotism. He had an incredible ability to control people's minds. Two days ago, both the comedian and the reaper were being transferred to a new maximum security facility when their prison bus was ambushed. All the guards were killed, and both the comedian and the reaper escaped. You want to track down and capture two of the most dangerous men on Earth? Yep. Okay. Anything else I need to know? Actually, there is. I'm Roachman. I bet if you really knew Roachman, you'd find that there's someone he cares for very deeply. So if you two are, uh, you know. Would you put being serious for a minute? Oh, you're telling me Roachman is telling me to be serious. We've got Sharon and Kelly. Then let's go get him. Surely you'd like the opportunity to reciprocate his kindness. And yet, you've both had chances before and have failed. You're both ambitious, yet short-sighted. The problem being, you can't seem to look past your petty rivalries. And meanwhile, you've got this testosterone poster child running about in a diving suit, single-handedly dismantling your most profitable operations and putting your employees behind bars. How much longer are you going to tolerate this? You need a neutral party. Someone who can help you work together to combine your forces. And that's where I come in. Interesting proposition, but only one problem. I have to warn you, you're way over your head with the comedian. He's crazy, ruthless, he can't be trusted. He has no reason to betray me, Demonica. 
We both want the same thing. But that's just it. He doesn't need a reason. Daniel's not like you and me. We're business people who kill out of necessity. He kills for pleasure. And he doesn't take orders from anyone. I don't give orders to Monica. Just suggestions. Which the two of you would be wise to follow if you want to get rid of Roachman? Well, did I miss anything? Just your why? You know, I was thinking just now, and I think I kind of like the idea of Demonica and I working together. I just don't see why we still need you. Fair enough. I'll tell you. I know something you don't. Really? Well, the suspense is killing me. I know who Roach Man is. I'm sure you can see the advantages of that. Being able to strike when and where we please. Learning his weaknesses and how to exploit them. You know Roach Man's true identity. And just how did you come by this bit of information? Where I'm from, his secret isn't such a secret anymore. Where you're from? And just where might that be exactly? It's not important. What is important is the fact that Roach Man thinks nobody knows who he is. And that makes him vulnerable. So how is this going to go? Ah, quite simply. We'll watch him. And we'll wait. And when he's least expecting it, we'll strike. <laughs> With our combined powers, your mastery over the martial arts, the comedian's power over the mind, and my ability to control time, doesn't stand a chance. What about the Reaper? We're taking an awfully big risk letting the comedian keep this pet of his. Maybe you'd like to be my pet instead. I'm a little too high maintenance for you. You know, if I could just control your mind, you'd have to. <laughs> the Reaper could make a powerful ally, but only if we can keep him under control. He's like a big dog. Keep him fed. And he'll be your obedient servant. Let him starve. And he'll bite your hand. What do you feed him? Death. You feed him death. No, I did it. I found our carjackers. But we don't have much time. We're probably shipping his car as we speak. Oh, hold on a minute. What happened to your arm? I got shot. You got shot? Yeah. And I need you to get the bullet out. These aren't people we're dealing with, though. They're animals. I had a baby in my arms. And that guy fired at me anyway. <laughs> baby? What baby? My God, there's blood all over you. Look, there was a baby in the back seat when they stole the car. I managed to get a tracking device slipped into the back seat. We don't have much time. No, no, Dalton, you need a real doctor. This is serious stuff. No, well, look at my arm. No, really, look at my arm. Where's the hole? All I see is blood. There's not a hole. It healed. No, I took a shot in this arm about 25 minutes ago and it's healed already. How do you think I'm going to explain that to a doctor? Well, you can try explaining it to me. Look, there is not enough time. Take this scalpel. It's about two inches in right here. I need you to cut go this way with the muscle. No, 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 no. I can't do this. OK, good. Right about just 10 Here's feet. Leg, Sean. Right about there. Okay, that's good. So you get running once you get up to this window. One more second, one more, one more. Okay, everybody ready? And action. I'm, 
have them doing what they're doing, and it stops maybe behind her, you can then cut to a shot up there looking at her, so then continuity with these guys isn't there. You can cut back to them doing whatever. Right. Yeah, okay, you're doing the bag. Uh, by the time Normita gets over in the, over here, just kind of finish up what you're doing, and then go to this side, right, you think, standing facing her? Yeah, or in a circle around her. I mean, just facing her. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. to the side, they're facing her. Hey! security prison. The prison bush was ambushed. The prison bush. It's <laughs> next. Oh. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Mateo Salvador. Mateo Salvador, better known as the reefer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's a master of several martial arts, a skilled weapons expert. And <laughs> why are you starting this out? Mateo went on a killing spree last year and murdered over 200 people before the police called. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Jesus. He's a master of several martial arts, a skilled weapon, weapons expert. Yeah, damn, I botched that. Two days ago, both the comedian and the reaper were being transferred to a new maximum security prison when their prison and a bus was ambushed. <laughs> damn, I'm it's my belief that a third party, a Noriko, <laughs> That's your secret? Hey, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Hey, man, how could you not be shutting up when the aforementioned shut up pertain to you and the fact that you should be not talking at the moment? Stay the hell away from it, bitch! <laughs> 